a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people. That was the uh, people of uh, South Carolina. My people's on my mother's side. And uh, as as you as you may may not know, this is the uh, based on the King James version of the Holy Bible. And, and what they do is they have uh, you know the King James, you know the, the Christopher Marlowe kind of Shakespeare language is on that side, and then you have the the Gullah there. So it's the translations right there. And uh, what we do is we pick any place. Now we at uh, uh, page uh, so I three. I'll do 375. Um, John 15, 375. I need my glasses because it's a small font, a small type. And let's go to, uh, let's do a short one. How's that? 23? Nah, I'll do a longer one, 21. Nah, I'll do 23. What the heck? If a ain't come and tech to um, them people ain't been for no day the sin. But, oh, I'm reading 22. Let me keep on going on them, the sin. Uh, okay. But now that I done come, they ain't have no excuse for they sin. Okay, that's actually John uh, 15, 22, page 375 uh, Go up in the translations is if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have uh, no choke for their sin. Well, uh, the, the, see, I, I read these things, I'm, I'm not well, uh, because I was always just curious how the, the newly freed people, my ancestors, my lineage, uh, learned to. Well, read and write so quickly to be literate, and so I've been reading their language. It's uh, it's a challenge. Uh, so let's do it again. Uh, twenty, twenty-two. Uh, here we go. Uh, John fifteen twenty-two. If I ain't come and take to them, them people ain't been for no day the sin. But now that I done come, they ain't have no excuse for they sin. And the translation is, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no choke for their sin. There it is. A reading from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.